friends, this is Miss Angie, your Different Children's Librarian. I'm here for another installment of Sherlock Shorts, where I read to you a short puzzle from the book, The Great Sherlock Holmes Puzzle Book by Dr. Gareth Moore. Last week, we read a puzzle called The Long Walk. I'm going to read that one for you today, give you the answer, and then I'm going to read you another one called Red and Green Apples. Okay, so here's The Long Walk. I saw a former associate of mine last week, Holmes told me. He's an American, but he's spending a month's holiday in France. He's the lucky man to have such a lengthy holiday, I replied. Where in America is he from? Texas, he replied. And in fact, he told me a rather interesting thing. He happened to mention that he traveled to Paris from his home in Austin in just over a week entirely on foot. That means he walked the whole time. Does that not sound a most remarkable feat, Watson? It sounds remarkably false, I should say. No man is capable of such speed, Holmes. You are far too quick to throw around such assertions of impossibility, Watson, as I have told you on many previous occasions. Indeed, I tell you it is not impossible. And I quite believe that he was telling the truth. How is that feat possible? How do you think? Did you guys figure it out? Can you walk from Paris to Austin? Is it even possible? Let's see, did you get out a map? I'm gonna show you a map right here. Take a look where Austin is and take a good look at the map. Okay, I'm gonna read you the answer. All right, so the long walk, friends, he walked to Paris, Texas, not Paris, France. <laughs> in the beginning, you got us thinking about Paris, France, because that's where he was vacationing. But there is a place in Texas called Paris. So that's where he walked. Because he couldn't walk across the ocean, could he? No. <laughs> All right, guys, that was the long walk. So our new one for today is called the Red, Red and Green Apples. All right. Holmes and I were at the Covenant Garden Market on an errand to obtain certain fruit and fruits and vegetables for Mrs. Hudson. Watson, Holmes said, there is a question of probability here for you. Indeed, I answered somewhat reluctantly. Suppose I give you 20 green apples and 20 red apples and two large sacks or two large bags. I instruct you to, to divide the apples between the two bags in any way you like using all of the apples. Once you have done so, I will blindfold you, shuffle the sacks, and you will be able to choose one sack and remove one apple. If the apple is red, you will win some great reward. Whereas if it is green, you will bring some great punishment among yourself. <laughs> Given these rules, how do you divide the apples so as to maximize the chance that you will pick a red apple? Can you determine the best strategy? All right, so you've got 20 apples. I'm sorry, you've got 20 green apples and 20 red apples. You can divide them up however you want between two bags. All right, and how? what is your best strategy that you will pick a red apple? Think about it, put our deer stalker caps on. Take a couple days and think about it and on our next installment, I'll give you the answer and have a new puzzle for you. Happy sleuthing, friends, bye-bye.